Thank you for watching this short video on how to work with the Toast menu template. This template will be used by our onboarding team to build the foundation of your menu in Toast. After we upload this template to your Toast site, all additional updates or changes will be made directly on the Toast platform. This template simply allows us to upload all of your items at once. The template is designed to keep your initial menu upload neatly organized. This is the menu template, and you can open this template in any uh, in Google Sheets or in Excel, Microsoft Excel. Um, it is a spreadsheet, and the spreadsheet is based has four tabs. It has a Read Me First tab where you get some basic information about this template and how to work with the template and where you'll be able to enter your restaurant name, your personal information, your online ordering hours, and your restaurant logo. It also has a menu build tab where you'll be entering your items, their prices, a short description, and the menu group name that they belong to. There's also a modifier build, which will allow us to build modifier groups that will be utilized to apply to some of the items in your menu. And finally, it has a glossary that will show you how the menu build will be represented on your online ordering site and on your POS system. So let's get started and build some menu items. I'm going to go back to the menu build and I'm gonna build a couple of items. I'm gonna give it an item name. And it's very important to, re to understand that the item name it's what's going to show up on your customer's receipts and what will be displayed on your online ordering site. So in this case, I'm gonna call it a burger. I'm gonna give it a price of $12.99. I'm gonna give it a short description, maybe brioche, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles. And I'm gonna assign it a menu group name which in this case, I could call it maybe burgers and sandwiches. I'm gonna create a second item, maybe a Caesar salad for $9.99. And I'm gonna say it comes with croutons and Parmesan cheese. And this will belong to maybe my soups and salads. Sometimes you'll have items that come in different sizes, for example, a cup of soup or a bowl of soup. And we always recommend that you create separate items for them. So maybe my cup of soup is going to be $4, my bowl of soup is going to be six. And maybe we can just say soup of the day for a description or whatever you feel is necessary. And I could put it in the same group, soups and salads. And make sure you use the same spelling. Having a hard time spelling today from what I can see. Or you could also select the cell and use this little corner and just drag it down and that will make it the same, okay? So now we've created items, we've designed them a price, we've written a description, and we've assigned them a menu group name. Again, remember that your menu items and your descriptions are customer facing. In other words, your customers will see them on your online ordering site or on their receipts. Um, and for the descriptions, they'll display on your online ordering site. So let's move on to building some modifiers. So some of the items in your menu will have some um, modifiers that will be required. So in this case, we're going to be building some modifier groups. So some examples would be something like meat temperature, or I can say rare, medium, and well done. And then I can scroll down and maybe create a new modifier group, maybe call uh, salad dressings. And maybe here I can have Caesar, ranch, and blue cheese.
name. I could do a modifier group maybe called salad add-ons where I can say add chicken or add steak. And I could also assign them an upcharge. Maybe I charge $4 to add chicken and steak. And I can continue creating modifier groups, maybe burger add-ons, where I can add bacon, or maybe add cheese. And maybe I charge a dollar to add bacon, and maybe 50 cents to add cheese. So now I've created some modifier groups. And if at any moment you feel that you need to have more rows, within a modifier group, you will select a row and you can either right click where you have the ability to insert more rows or you say insert button up here on your spreadsheet program to add some more rows. So you can add as many rows as you need if you need more rows. Just keep in mind that now that your menu will be probably will be used for online ordering as well, you might want to keep the list of modifier options um, neat and short as people will be scrolling through their phones to place orders. Once I've built my modifier groups, I also have the option to define how those groups are going to behave. So in the case of the meat temperature, I want to make this modifier group a required modifier group where I can only select one option. And I'm using this little drop down arrow on the right hand side of each cell to select what I want. Okay. Maybe my salad dressing is optional. And maybe I only allow one option to be chosen. For things like my salad add ons or my burger add ons, maybe it's an optional group and people can pick as many as they want. So I'll just go ahead and leave the minimum and the maximum empty, which will mean that they can choose as many as they want. Now I'm going to go back to the menu build. And in the menu build, I'm going to assign modifier groups to the items that I've created. And this is very, very important that when you're adding a modifier group that you use this drop-down arrow to select the modifier group that you want to apply. So in this case, I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to select my meat temperature as my first modifier group that will be applied to the burger. And maybe my burger add-ons as the second modifier group that's going to apply to my burger. On my Caesar salad, maybe I can do my salad add-ons or my salad dressing as the first modifier, and then my salad add-ons. By creating or using this menu template for your initial menu build, we will keep everything neatly organized and we'll be able to upload everything into your Toast system. Once we upload it, if you want to add more modifiers to your salad add-ons or to your burger add-ons, we will be doing so directly on the Toast platform as it will be much easier. The template is designed to be used as a single upload of your initial menu build. So now let me talk, you, talk a little bit about some tips and tricks. Um, I know that many of you will probably be using an existing spreadsheet uh, or an existing PMIX from your current system. And you might wanna have the ability to copy items into this spreadsheet. And the recommendation would be, if you're gonna be copying any items from another document, that when you paste them into this spreadsheet, if you right click on a cell, you will have the option to do what's called a paste special, which allows you to paste the values only. This will ensure that no formatting from your data source will be included into this spread, into this template. We want this template to remain as it was created. Um, please do not add any columns, but feel free to add as many rows as you wish. So if I wanna add some rows above 
my Caesar salad because I want to add more sandwiches, I can simply do that. And again, you have the ability to click and drag if you want to add more items to the same group. When it comes to modifiers, same principle. If you're going to be copying information from another source, make sure that you're using the paste special uh, feature and that you're only copying the values. Um, if you need to have more rows, again, you're going to right click on a row and you can insert more rows if you need to, or you can use the insert button. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this short video, and I wish you lots of success on building your menu using the Toast menu template.